today's book spot, we are having a look at the Insight Editions, The World According to Batman. Packed with amazing special features, it's written by Daniel Wallace, illustrated by Joel Gomez and Beth uh, Sotelo. Featured on the front of the package, feature on the front of the book, I should say, the cover looks like it's Batman from like the new 52. More armored up. You see the several different rogues in the background there and the, multi, the Nightwing and Robin. And we've got Commissioner Gordon and Batgirl. Now, above and beyond this being just a straight illustration book, one thing I like about the Inside Edition books is a lot of these are more like scrapbooks. So as you'll see, as we flip through the pages here, the books themselves have little things that you can remove, uh, almost as if it was something that Batman would be collecting on his own. The spine of the book says, World According to Batman. There's another image of Batman there. Insight Editions. And then finally on the back, packed with amazing special features, experience the world through the eyes of the Dark Knight. As Batman shares the secrets of his relentless battle against the villains of Gotham City, filled with insight on everything from tragic origin story to invaluable crime-fighting tips, this book extracted from secret Batcave files sees the world's greatest detective impart all the knowledge needed to take on the mantle of Batman. From tracking large groups of thugs single-handedly to working from a crashing aircraft, a World of Corner Batman has all the information that would that an inspiring crime fighter needs. Also featuring a wealth of removable, special removable items, including Bruce Wayne's business card, Robin's mask, a newspaper clipping from the Gotham Gazette. Uh, this thrilling journey into the Dark Knight's world takes you under the cowl like never before. To check out more from the folks over at Insight Editions, you can go to www.insighteditions.com. Okay, so let's have a look through the book now, as in most fashion. I'm not going to actually go through every single page, because if you wanted to pick this book up for yourself, I don't want to give away everything. But on the front, there's a section for Damien, my son. This digital document contains multiple data layers for your access only. Each section provides a high-level overview of my methods, strategies, allies, and enemies, as well as my motivations for taking up this crusade. Terabytes of additional data on each of these subjects are stored on the in the back computer for further review as needed. As Batman, I must, I must be prepared for any... Uh, eventuality, including my own uh, ad uh, abdication. Though I do not expect this file to be activated for many years to come, when the time arrives, it, it is my wish that you shall become Batman. And we got the world according to Batman. Of course, your contents. First thing we're going to come across is the Gotham Gazette heir to the Wayne Fortune attends funeral for murdered parents. It says, I had everything as a child, money, privilege, education, but in one moment my life became one of loss. Billionaires gunned down by common thug. The papers had a field day. They painted it as rich versus poor, but that was always been a distraction. The true fight is for justice. Uh, it's what allows order to prevail over chaos. Civilization has moral laws. They supersede the laws written by the courts. Those are the laws Batman enforces. This is the code you must now enforce. It shows you his preparation as well as his workout regimen. And again, this is just a piece of paper. But it's neat that they it would have been written out as if this is Batman's real workout. So he has workout one, workout two, workout three, workout four, 500 narrow push-ups, 500 lateral push-ups, push seated shoulder press 285 pounds, 30-minute full run on treadmill at 45-degree incline, Tai Chi 20 minutes while balanced on pole. Again, that's the life of Batman. Flipping over the page, I want to make sure, of course, we don't... Uh, crease any of these. Primal power. I used the shape of the bat to craft a symbol that would fill the criminals Gotham City with dread. And as we go through some other things, we have essential tools, the grapnel gun, batarangs, non-lethal takedowns, personal combat. And further going on, Wayne Industries. This is the Wayne Bruce Wayne business card which again, you could remove if you want. I generally keep a lot of that stuff kept in the book. We get to Batman the First Recruit, complete with a removable mask. Shows you the also the different Robins. There's Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Damian Wayne. Got 
Gotham City's Underworld. Then we get to the meat and potatoes of it, the different villains. We have the Joker, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy. And again, these all seem to be incorporating the new 52 designs rather than the original classic designs, especially Poison Ivy here. Two-Face. The Riddler, Bane, Scarecrow, the Penguin. More threats to Gotham City. We have Killer Croc, Clayface, Hugo Strange, Mr. Freeze, Ra's al Ghul, Taya al Ghul. We have some lacerations, electrical shock, combat casualty care. I guess how to cope with the numerous different ways that the villains can attack Batman. Section for Arkham Asylum. And then we have the different suits. And then finally on the back, we have ourselves a poster, which appears to be the exact same poster that was featured on the front cover. Now granted, this book is more for small reading. It's not a, a super in-depth encyclopedia. Uh, you're sitting at 60 pages, Batman's Network of Allies. Uh, 60 pages though, what, what's good about that is it's a small pick up and read. It's something that a kid can kind of go through and I love like the little reference books where you have the little articles, the little did you knows and things that you can take from the book. Again, I would not take the stuff out of the book. I would probably just keep it more in, inside. But this is a fun little coffee table book. It's smaller than some of the other books that we've had a look at. But it's a good pick up and read if you're a Batman fan. Today's book spot, we were having a look at the Inside Editions, The World According to Batman. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.